In this presentation, we'll look at how to use the LSMW program. Let's look at what is LSMW. LSMW stands for Legacy System Migration Workbench. It is used for migrating data from the legacy system to SAP. So legacy system here means it's your old ERP environment. And then you're moving the data from that to SAP. So how do you move the data? Well, from your old system, you can always get an extract of all the master data required, which you can transport to SAP. For example, you might have about 10 cost centers in your old system, and you can move those cost centers to SAP, but you need to put the relevant ID for your cost centers in SAP with the relevant profit centers, description, and any other important data. So you can get an extract of the information which you need to transport from your old system to SAP, and you can migrate those large amount of data using the LSMW program. But LSMW program is not only used for migrating from old system to SAP, it can also be used after the SAP implementation as well. You can use it to create master data, change master data, and do any other edits which you require in your master data. LSMW can also be used for your transaction data as well. Some certain transactions, you can use the LSMW data very easily. The main advantage of using LSMW that it saves time, which means you don't have to create the data one at a time. You can do a large bulk load. So this is where LSMW's feature really benefits. For example, if you need to create 100 internal orders, then it's quickly you can get them into an Excel form, transport the data into a text file, use LSMW program, and you can quickly load the data. So this saves time. There's also multiple use with LSNW. This means you can use the same LSNW program over and over again, and you can use it in many different environments. For example, you can create in one of those test servers, and you can migrate that to your production server. You can use the same program and use it in another company and many different SAP servers which means the ease of use of exporting and importing the LSW program makes it a very useful tool where you can use the same program multiple times over many different years in many different SAP environments. Now let's look at the best practices for LSMW. First, you must ensure that you have access to the transaction before proceeding. So first, you must ensure that you have access to the transaction code LSMW, that is the transaction code itself. Then whatever transaction that you are going to create, you should have access. For example, if you plan to create internal orders, you must ensure that you have access to the transaction code K001. Then only you can start creating the LSMW program. First, perform the transaction manually in your test server and note down all the required fields which you need to fill in. For example, if you plan to create cost centers, ensure that you need to, what are the information that you need to capture while creating the cost centers. For example, the description field of the cost center, the person responsible, the profit center, any other company code, and any other relevant information which you want to capture during the creation of cost center, you need to note it down. Then, when you actually do the LSW program, you can record those transactions easily. Create the LSW program in your test server. Remember, if you have three environments, development server, test server, and production server, first create it in your test server. Do some trials, ensure that the program works, and then export the LSW program to your production server, and you can load your actual data. Once the LSM pro program has been run successfully, then check the data table for verification. For example, if you have loaded some internal orders, you can use the table COAS to ensure that the all the internal orders which you have created have been updated. Also, check the time benefit analysis. Some transactions are easier to create manually than using LSMW. For example, if you need to create five cost centers, then it's simply easy just to create five cost centers manually. No point need to waste creating a new LSW program just to upload five cost centers. 
Similarly, if you need to create like